Sagar Sharma, Editor News Bank, Daily English Newspaper of Navi Mumbai. Today we have with us a very talented, in fact, multi-talented personality. She is a singer, producer, and anchor. She has sung many songs in Hindi films and is also well known in Marathi regional music industry. She rose to fame after having won the prestigious ZTV reality music show Sare Kama Pa in 2004 and since then there has been no looking back. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce and welcome Dr. Neha Rajpar. Hello, hi. Uh, uh, I would like to inform the viewers that uh, Ms. Rajpar, she is an MBBS doctor by qualification. So the first and foremost question, uh, why did you choose to make uh, music as your career? Uh, it happened uh, accidentally. My ambition was always to become a doctor. My mother is a doctor. And I've been um, going to her uh, dispensary clinic uh, right from my childhood times. Uh, at that time, uh, she used to take uh, me to her clinic. Uh, she was a working woman at that time also. It was difficult, more difficult at that time. So uh, I used to see how she healed people by giving uh, medicine and treating them. So after God, I thought there is some, some magic power which exists was uh, uh, of a doctor. So I wanted that uh, as my profession and I worked towards it. Um, meanwhile, I've, I had a skill of singing also. My father is a guitarist and uh, he's an engineer, but uh, his uh, music was always a hobby. So I had also this in mind that I, I should uh, just take uh, formal training and let it be a hobby and um, be a doctor at the same time. So that was my goal in life that I should become a doctor and uh, music always uh, was a very integral part of me. Uh, uh, right from the childhood because I used to participate in school, inter-school competitions, win some uh, prizes for school and uh, being a, a singer in school, you know, collar tight hoti thi bahut. Ki, you know, you get uh, extra attention from teachers and students and you become kind of a, a wanted kind of a student uh, and pet, pet student ho jate ho aap. So, you know, I saw that advantage that when there is music, there is a lot of attention and special uh, treatment. Milta hai. So, I knew the power of music, which was very strong. As a child, you know, you can't understand that this can become your career. And in India, especially, we are very academically oriented people. And uh, to uh, wholeheartedly take arts as a profession was unimaginable thing. So I thought, let me uh, go by what I've uh, done. And eventually, uh, after 12th and in my first MBBS, when I won Sare Gamapa, I, I did not win Sare Gamapa in the first go. I was 16 years old. I was called as a participant in Sonu Nigam's Sare Gamapa. He, he was the host at that time. And I had, I had uh, lost in the finals. So I was the first participant to cry on screen, actually. So uh, it, was kind, it, it was kind of a reality show which kick-started that time by, by probably a participant like me. Uh, because um, I don't know, I was just 16 years old and thought, oh God, why did I lose? But then eventually you laugh, laugh it out and say, say ki, oh, this is a uh, win, winning and losing is always a part of life. You have to take it uh, as and when it comes to comes your way. Um, so that changed my life, and uh, I I as soon as I appeared in Saregama, uh, it became a serious business kind of a thing. I started touring in my MBBS times only with um, uh, An Kalanji Ananji uh, group. Uh, and um, I, I recorded a few Marathi songs uh, and some jingles in uh, Hindi as soon as I appeared in Saregama. So that opened uh, a new avenue in my life. And I took it as, as the opportunity came my way. I didn't do, uh, I put extra effort and hard work, although because doing MBBS simultaneously was very tough for me. 
my routine was very tough right from you know i i used to stay in dombivli at that time so uh, my professors really helped me during my mbbs period um, a lot because at that time it they saw me on sare gama pa sare gama at that time I, it was uh, so uh, and eventually by the end of uh, mbbs uh they call, sare gama again called me uh, for uh, participating so uh, that was the second time when i appeared on sare gama pa that was shan's uh, shan was the host at that time i had i and i i at that time na, there was no mega final kind of a thing finals nahi hua karta tha it was a roll over kind of a thing so i won 7 to 8 episodes in a row and then after 3 4 years again they called me for a mega final that i won in 2004 so my journey started with the sare gama family from sonu nigam to shan it it lasted for 12 years so it's not that in the first go i won sare gama pa uh, but you know sare gama ma se pa jaane ke liye bahut time laga tha <laughs> and in 2008 i won the mega finals of sare gama pa where all the participants of various seasons participated uh, winners participated and uh, there was a big final so that changed my life and by the end of uh, mbbs i got married also and and uh, i be uh, when i had one saregama pa uh, two years old she was so from from being a, a student to a mother uh, was my big journey uh, which you know and i i i take everything which comes my way i don't uh, fight it i take that opportunity zyada se zyada kya hoga ki you will uh, change your goal uh, accordingly if you are not able to do it so that's that's the way that's the way and i had to give up uh, medicine eventually uh, me i couldn't um, when i did mbbs and i did not uh, practice much because i i was a full mother and full time working uh, uh, in music so two things were very heavy on me and it was not easy to do third third medicine to do you know medical field to do together so i, I took a sabbatical there and medicine is such that um abhi bhi crossin hi chalti hai you you need to update yourself but uh, abhi tak sar dard hota to log crossin hi lete which is 50 year old drug and uh, so knowledge once gained can be applied any time in your life so i i thought music opportunities might not come so easily in the later part of my life uh, so i took them and i made it as a front profession for uh, will you please tell us about your musical journey how did it start and uh, you know training and all that uh, i my first guru is my father Uh, he uh, spotted that i could sing and uh, i he started uh, uh, making me sing on his guitar so my first guru is uh, my father usually people take classical music training in in their uh, initial life that that is their first training usually but my father took me to guitar uh, as a as a training platform so uh, you know that added an advantage to me because i could uh, understand the western chord system also so uh, at a very younger age so uh, he is my first guru and then i started learning classical music from uh, vibhavri bandhavkar karke hain uh, that was very later part of the matlab 6th 6th standard mein maine bahut na theoretical and exam oriented uh, classical music seekha which uh, is required i gave exams till 5 uh, 5 levels the uh, the uh, exams then 10th came and then i thought let me take a break from it uh, for from the exam part of it and i didn't enjoy much theoretical part of uh, music because you know theory and practical uh, are so different in music so i i took that training but uh, after 10th i got to know i i got got to learn classical music from my current uh, 
not now i'm not learning a, a music from her anymore uh, but i always take her guidance vibhavari bandhavkar karke hain uh, she's from kirana gharana and she actually made me uh, go understand uh, classical music deeper and to like it because you now for a student to like classical music it requires patience and a good teacher and i got that good teacher who could uh, find uh, strength in my singing and she molded herself uh, for my uh, kind of a training because i i intended to uh, do do light music rather than cla- classical music so she trained me in a way that jaise taan leni to taan leni zaruri nahi hai you have to learn what nuances can work in your kind of a singing so that kind of a guru to get is is a very fortunate thing i got got it in her and um, my light music guru is mr anil mohile he is a very well known uh, he was a very well known late anil mohile he is now uh, he was a very very well known uh, music arranger composer in marathi and he used to do lata mangeshkar's all uh, concerts and arrangements uh, for her and uh, he's worked with legends like bappi da kalanja anand ji and everybody so i got to learn how the new song original song is recorded in a studio because that training is completely different um, what happens is you क्या होता है आप जीत जाते हो सारे गा जीत गए कोई रियलिटी शो जीत गए बट दैट्स द स्टार्ट ऑफ योर स्ट्रगल एक्चुअली दैट्स नॉट द एंड दैट्स द स्टार्ट ऑफ द ऑफ योर स्ट्रगल बिकॉज इवेंचुअली ऑन रियलिटी शोज यू सिंग ओरिजिनल सॉन्ग्स बाय यू डोंट सिंग ओरिजिनल सॉन्ग्स बट यू सिंग कवर सॉन्ग्स ऑफ समबडी एल्स हु संग बिफोर बट योर गोल एज अ सिंगर हैज टू बी to reach out to audience with your original voice and original song so that struggle starts when you start going into a studio and start recording a song so that major training i got to do with uh, mr anil mohile ji he uh, i am inde- indebted forever because i've seen uh, lata ji um, recording uh many big big people recording in studios that was a training ground for any newcomer so that's the way my musical uh, training happened um you have sung uh, songs in many languages you know besides hindi and marathi so um how challenging is this uh you know luckily in maharashtra uh, usually you get to my mother is a maharashtrian Uh, and my father is a punjabi and i'm married to a sindhi uh, so it's a full khichdi uh, uh, at home only and i i have in fact my uh, masa ji and my mami uh, is a goan so i've heard konkani also and my mother is actually maharashtrian se bhi zyada malwani bhi hai so you know i've heard many languages while growing up and that was a good training ground uh, for a child to understand nuances and dialects of many languages uh, so 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 and my uh, in maharashtra you get to learn gujarati also very easily because you see lot of gujarati people uh, uh, talking in their language uh, around you so gujarati was very easy for me to understand the only problem came was the south indian language which is which is very difficult to understand in one first place and especially the songs बिकॉज uh, अगर हम कहते हैं कि अगर तुम साथ हो ठीक है ये वर्ड्स हैं हिंदी में बट uh, वो अगर साउथ में चले जाएंगे ना तो अगर के लिए दो वर्ड्स रहेंगे कि तुम अगर साथ साथ हो हो सो ऐसा डबल में आ जाता है सो इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेज टू बी संग यू नो एक वर्ड के लिए उनके दो वर्ड्स होते हैं so that is a different ter- training all together so once you get to le- uh, get the hook of it na and you it is something like aap a b c d jab seekhte ho tab aapko it took you two years to understand one word so for a language it takes a time but if you repeat it all, 
continuously you will get a hook of it that is what uh, intrigued me and that that uh, made made my uh, outlook easier for other languages you have also produced marathi film photo copy uh, in fact i would like to inform the viewers that the music of the uh, film went on to win the best music album of the year award so how yes, yes. was the experience and um, any future plans in this direction uh, uh being a producer being an artist and being become a producer is a uh, completely different ball game because as a i had two minds to working on that at that time one was creative mind and one was a uh, producer mind where there एक बोलता है कैसे बचाओ और दूसरा बोलता है नहीं नहीं आर्टिस्ट है आर्टिस्ट को बहुत अच्छे से पैसे दो सो इट वॉज अ बैटल ऑफ टू माइंड ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम फॉर मी लकीली आई गॉट टू प्रोड्यूस इट विथ वाई कॉम एटीन विच इज अगेस्ट प्रोड्यूस वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट प्रोडक्शन हाउसेस uh that's why i did it actually because there was a big banner also along with me uh otherwise it is a very difficult thing to for an artist to do especially as a singer you go to a studio you go uh, you are in that project for 4 hours that, that that's my that that's long uh, that you know you take 4 to 5 hours to record a song uh for that project and after you're out of the studio you are out of the project then when it releases at that time you are because you record so many songs songs but many songs don't even release so you have to cut cut your uh, attachment from that song uh, as soon as you're out of the studio that is what i learned in so many years because once you are attached to that product uh, that there is a possibility that you get disappointment and it doesn't get released only so that had that that are the uh, pros and cons of being a singer you know ki aap karte to ho that you get that pleasure uh, due, while recording it but uh, the ultimate goal is that it should reach your audiences also so if that doesn't happen then you get disappointed a lot but um, that's a that's a part and parcel of being a singer so as a producer i was in that project for on, for about 2 years till it released Uh, and it went towards the uh, audience oh, internet aa raha hai you know uh, i did in music industry there must be many uh, you are asked there are many <laughs> yeah. yeah there are there are many many um, I, i actually there is no ideal as such but um, to say one the most perfectionist uh, Uh, artist and uh, who's been blessed and uh, who has uh, uh, impressioned uh, my subconscious is uh, bharat ratna late lata mangeshkar ji uh, she you know i i don't think so uh, 100 saal ya hazar saal mein waisa awaaz ya waisi kuch baat aayegi is dharti pe uh, and there is somebody called michael jackson who uh, has imp- has put a great impression on me uh, as a child because a icon who can sing and dance is a very rare icon and his songs are still relevant and his songs he did he he lived a very small uh, years of life but he made a big impact on on generations to come so michael jackson is one of those artists who creates who sings who composes who presents and who is a big show uh, stopper too which is a very rare thing in today's world so these two probably and of course ar rahman is there he he is the current uh, living legend on this earth who uh, has uh kya bolte ruled the hearts of uh, indians all over the world so he is one of the icons whom whom i follow very closely and you know close to heart uh as a tribute to the nightingale of our uh, country uh, late lata mangeshkar ji we would like if you can sing a song or maybe just few lines that would be sure. uh, you know dedicate we would like to dedicate sure. to her sure her um uh 
a song which uh, many years back uh, was was a haunting melody and it still rules the hearts of today's generation is lagja gale so to uh, so a uh, antra of lagja gale हमको मिली घड़िया नसीब से जी भर के देख लीजे हमको करीब से फिर आपके नसीब में ये बात हो न हो शायद फिर इस जन्म में मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गली के फिर हसी रात हो शायद फिर इस जन्म में मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गली से से थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल मेलोडी सॉन्ग व्हिच आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी मस्ट हैव हर्ड एंड वुड लाइक टू हियर अगेन एंड अगेन आह नाउ what is your future plan ha uh, see uh, covid uh, lockdowns have uh, actually shaken uh, us because we've never seen world stopping in our life uh, the whole world stopped and remained at home and that uh, sent me thinking again ki uh, now i'm 40 about 40 years old um uh, i have done many things in my life uh, what else is left to do so uh, during covid time i uh, came across something called stock trading which uh, and uh, something called nfts cryptocurrencies uh, which is a new thing uh, in the um, artist life also because uh, crypto crypto platforms are uh, allowing nfts nfts is non tangible tokens uh, it is something like an art which can be collected digitally uh, which is a very new thing for india but internationally it has become very big uh, so during covid time i actually released few nfts on uh, wazirx uh, platform which in india it provides a legit limit uh, platform to nfts and very few artists are uh, allowed to do it there and i got that opportunity to be a nft artist so um, as uh, you know the best part of nfts is it's a very exclusive thing matlab ag aap agar nft collector ho you buy my nft you will have that one nft exclusively for yourself so it won't be available to anybody else so uh, it is like painting you know ki aap painting lete ho aapke liye hoti ho exclusive painting so uh, for that um, i released my nft during ganesh ganesh utsav and uh, um, it got sold within 2 hours which was a phenomenal thing for me to uh, for an artist it is a phenomenal new platform to explore so uh, recently i have released uh, a shiva uh, nft a de- because devotional nfts musical devotional nfts don't exist on um, uh, nft platforms so uh, that became a very unique story for me and you know uh, it's a new avenue which has opened for me i have released shiva uh, nft which is costing quite high because uh, i want it to be very exclusive and uh, let's see what happens with that nft that this is the start of my 
journey or being an analyst and secondly is that i took training in stock exchange um, uh, trading during covid times so that's again a new avenue which i which i have opened for myself to uh, and i i want to deploy i learned few wealth generating uh, strategies uh, you know as an artist you hardly understand the finances much and uh, uh, all artists i i urge to artists that they should do their financial management and learn about it so that in in future something like covid disruption happens you have to be very uh, ready to tackle it uh because because ultimately what happens is ek backup plan aapke paas zarur hona chahiye is life mein that is what i learned uh and that that probably if you is my future avenue to explore uh, stock stock market trading and uh, wealth yeah. creation and yeah, nft and industry you know there is a music industry also faces tough competition so any advice that you would like to give to the upcoming uh, singers uh for the for upcoming singers uh, you know the the music industry has changed so much it has it has become global uh because you have platforms like uh, youtube instagram reels and what not um, to to present your art in instant uh, one click okay so that uh, for the newcomers it's a magic thing you know we didn't have that before Uh, we had to go to studios do training and do struggle a lot now 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 people can actually put their art online and they can reach to thousands lakhs crores of people in one click so that so for new artist uh, you if you have the creativity to create something new start right away and start putting it online so that you never know what can click and what can give you uh, big big uh, rewards big prizes big big uh, standing in the industry you never know that and and be a, a student forever in your life because uh, only it, it it is a ocean of uh, so many permutation combinations if you feel that you've learned uh, something be humble about it and uh, be a student now you have to better yourself only be a competitor of yourself try to be best of yourself all the time ah uh, thank you so much dr neha but before yeah. signing off he may have he request one more so <laughs> It is so melodious that we feel that we would like to hear more and more. Uh, okay, I'll I'll sing a Marathi song this time because uh, uh, Marathi gave me. Uh, I I am indebted to my mother mother tongue that uh, it gave me the recognition which I got. So um, one Marathi song which I composed for Maharashtra Sarkar. Um, I composed it and Dr. Vijay Ward uh, wrote it. uh she is a great uh, philosopher and sahityik hai wo so uh maaji marathi mari karke hai wo gana maaji marathi marathi tiche kautuk kautuk jagi sarvatra baghaya maaji man ho chuk मराठी मराठी बंदा गरुपाया अशी शाहिरी लावण्य लागे जगात रुजाया माझी मराठी मराठी तिचे कौतुक कौतुक मराठी मराठी तिचे पुण्याही अनोखी चला घेऊ खांद्यावरी तिची वैभवी पालखी माझी मराठी मराठी तिचे कौतुक कौतुक माझी मराठी मराठी ज्ञानेशाची ती माऊली 
It's a beautiful rendition and um, on this beautiful melodious uh, song, we would like to thank you once again and the viewers, uh, please stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks Dr. Mithalatva. Thank you.